What is going on everyone and welcome back to your weekly news roundup and we have finally got a kind of a roadmap for eFootball 2023. There's a lot of nuggets of information here so we're going to go through everything. Obviously it is still a little bit disappointing that we don't have you know a full roadmap for this is the date Master League will come, this is the date that they will add this uh, game mode or they will include this offline mode or even a tournament mode for offline or anything like that but we do have some details that we are going to go through everything that announced today and a couple of bits and pieces that announced yesterday as well to cover that up all in this video so starting us off we do have an overview which was a tweet sent out by the official uh we konami eFootball twitter account the japanese twitter account where is an overview of the update to eFootball 2023 scheduled for late August. So it'll be next week, as we did predict in our video last week. We said the 25th of August looked like there was going to be a significant update. So we're talking about the player database has been updated. So Haaland is at City. I covered that in my old video. We're also talking about uniforms and new licenses being brought in, as well as a host of other stuff. So we're going to click on this and we're going to go through it in detail here, obviously, um, as we are brought to the official website. And it is going to talk about the eFootball 2023 kicking off with season one. So as we already did predict as well, it is going to reset back instead of it being, you know, V1.5 or B V1.6, it is going to be V1.5. 1RV 2.0 that's basically what's going to happen when eFootball 2023 starts and then that will be the proper kind of culmination of all the seasons um I think the easiest way to look at it lads is that eFootball 2022 was kind of like a beta version of what eFootball 23 will hopefully eventually evolve into so we are going to talk about some of the stuff here adding to the already star-studded lineup of Messi, Neymar and Kubo two new global ambassadors will join and that is Trent Alexander-Arnold and Bruno Fernandes so uh, two of those will be added as ambassadors which means that they are going to be getting the same treatment as Neymar and Messi with the ambassador premium pack so when we go down here, you'll see the new graphic and then we'll talk about the new player types. So they're introducing two new player card types for Dream Team, which will be a highlight uh, player and an epic player. So the epic seem to be very similar to um, the legendary players, but they've got a higher progression ceiling. So I reckon that these players will max out at like maybe 100 overall, I think 99, 100 overall. Um Look, I mean, Dream Team is Dream Team. Like, you either like the mode or you don't. And there is going to be mad, mad cards in it. I mean, that is where they're making the money. People are spending big money on the cards. And if they're enjoying it, then so be it. I mean, that is what they they, they want to do. Um, I think that it's not, not the worst thing. And to show off the licenses and the legends. I mean, you drop Adriano in there. You drop Ibrahimovic as a legend. You drop Kaka as a legend. You drop maybe... Uh, Zanetti, Cambiasso, you drop all these boys, you know, maybe Sammy Eto as a featured uh, for Inter Milan. People are going to buy them and look, they're entitled to do that. I think that they are going to have cards. Um, I think the card design and all that looks good. Whether you agree with the practice of it or not, that is completely up to you. But I do think that they have made a big Im uh, impact with the players here. But these cards here, the Epic cards, look like they're going to be the best versions released so far. And then these highlight uh, cards are highlight are hand handpicked players who put in exceptional performances in the current season um, and have a higher progression ceiling that featured. So again, I reckon these will all go around the 99-100 mark because they'll probably have like 15 levels of progression, if not more. Um, that would be my guess. I think that they'll really be standout cards. And then obviously we're also going to have the new licenses included as well. So we're going to have AC and Inter Milan. We're going to have... Um, Club America and we're going to have the Liga BBVA so the Mexican League is going to be in there as well with all the kits and all that as well again that will probably be paving the way for the offline mode which we'll get into in a bit also we talk about the dream team power packs so these are going to be the new power packs that we talked about Trent Alexander will be taking uh, center stage getting his own premium ambassador pack he'll be released first for that phenomenal 2019-2020 season um, he'll be introduced as an epic player and then Bruno will be having and one in the end of the month as well so they seem to be splitting those um maybe like not drop the two of them at the time and then we are also getting legendary managers uh which are going to be Cruyff and Cannavaro so they are suited and ready to propel your dream team to the next level um obviously they're going to double up as players and managers Cruyff and Cannavaro um you would imagine and then obviously these are uh, the, the the featured packs I reckon we're going to get a lot of legends a lot of epic players a lot of different cards 
And again, as I said, you know, Dream Team is a very fun mode. And this is what people are actually, you know, buying. I mean, I've even seen on Twitter today, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, I'm definitely going to get Snyder. I'm definitely going to get Sadorf. I'm definitely going to get the Bruno pack. Um, and, you know, look, let people enjoy what they want to enjoy. You know, that that's just what 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 the, what the mode is at the moment. So hopefully we need to flesh it out and have different modes in so that everyone can be satisfied, offline fans and online fans. Um, but I just want to see a lot of content come now. So moving on to another bit of news, right? We also get this kind of tread going here that eFootball 2023, which will launch next uh, Thursday, August the 25th, is going to be equipped with the later, latest player data. Some uniform data, such as the Dutch and French leagues, are not included. Um, and we'll get then in this one as well. Uh, the home version was updated around September and the mobile version around November. As a result, the installation was not completed in time. So there's going to be a little bit delay there. And then we do get this little nugget of information here that has kind of gone under the radar. Regarding the uniform data has been installed this time, we plan to update it in the update schedule for early October. So we now kind of also have, just to pop that in, along with the installation of friend match for home use. So that is for console use. That is for actual PC and console, I would reckon. Um, we are going to get a friend match. So that was added last update in the mobile version, but now we are going to be having friendly match lobbies in the mo in the console version and the PC version from what it says there, home use right there. So that bit there is very important for those looking for friend friendly match lobbies. So there's a lot to get in there, right? We already have... Um, we're going to get an update in August the 25th, and then the next big update is probably going to be scheduled for early October. So we're going to have the big update in August, then we're going to have September where we'll just have our general kind of like updates every Thursday with the new players, gameplay tweaks, little hot fixes here and there. And then we are going to get a big, huge update in October, which will add friendly match lobbies. It's going to fill out the rest of the database and the squad data and all the licenses, the premium packs, all the ambassador packs, all that sort of stuff. So moving on to that, we also get the announcement that they have re-signed up a lot of the licenses. So Arsenal have signed up again. Um, they've extended their partnership. Bayern Munich have extended their partnership. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on there, as you can see here. Um, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, they also already signed the French one as well. Um, and, you know, in the preparation for all that, they're going to have a lot of details that need to be brought out. But you can see there that they have got the French one there as well. And they had Bayern Munich and stuff. So over on the actual official website then as well, we do have a couple of details that are just less exciting, I suppose, just to kind of cover all the news. We were talking about the objectives and the premium objectives and the premium packs and whatever. These will stop on the 18th. So today is the last day that you would be able to purchase the Neymar and Messi pack and the club packs, Barca, Bayern, United, Arsenal, Roma, Celtic, Monaco, Galatasaray, and Manchester City. This, this is the last day they're going to be adding new club packs. So I reckon, obviously, they're going to add Inter, they're going to add Club America, they're going to add AC Milan. Then they're going to have the new premium ambassadors, which instead of Messi and Neymar, we are going to have uh, Trent and Bruno Fernandes. And then uh, instead, we're also going to have epic player packs as well with Sadarf and... Um, Sadorf and who else did we say? I can't remember. Schneider, Wesley Schneider. So whether they'll come as part of like an epic pack or whether they'll come as standalone legends, it looks like it could be either um, or both. So we also get information and confirmation on the eFootball point shop expiry date. So as a result of the upcoming player transfers, the expiry date of these available players have been changed. Affected players, La Celso, expiry date before was the 15th to the 12th. Now it's the 22nd of the night. So obviously that's just a licenses thing that they don't want to have that up, obviously, because he's changed club. So they want to have the new version of the card there. And then also they talk about regarding club strips data. So this is where I was talking about confirmation on the V2.0 update scheduled for late August, which is the 25th. So next Thursday, the 25th of August, we are going to have a download available, which will basically rebrand and update your version of eFootball 2022 to eFootball 2023 V2.0, right? So it's not going to be v, um, eFootball you know, 2023 V1.0, but they are starting again with the V2.0. So it's kind of the next step up. And then they're going to be like planning to update all the club strips for here. So this is what's going to be updated in V2.1, which is scheduled in early October. So as I said, lads, it is slightly confusing. So this is just basically going to be laying the groundwork. Then this one is going to add all of this stuff. 
and then this is going to be in further updates and then this one in october is also going to add the friendly match lobby which seems to be a very very big update so that's going to add all the licensed leagues and the kits for that um eventually paving the way for some sort of offline mode and then last but not least we do have the legendary teams uh, or the legendary players that are on display again they are rinsed and repeated they have been out before and we are over here on eFootball itself where we're going to have a quick look at the players i mean pirlo obviously an absolute beast he's got a really really nice car 10 levels to go we will do a little review on them um i think we haven't done it already maybe we have i'll have to check lads it is kind of rinse and repeat michael owen obviously fresh out of love island he is going to be a beast up front because he is a goal poacher and he's also got a really nice dribble speed and acceleration trinity holy trinity of of stats his finishing is 85 as well this guy is somebody that i would definitely like to play even though he's a bit on the smaller side his balance isn't the worst either so you could boost that up a bit and he does be able to play out wide by default as well and then you've got the man himself the beast the man the myth the legend Ian Collar who is an absolute colossus and with the way that the game has gone at the moment with the heading being very overpowered and very 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 direct play from ping pong passing and stuff and moving it quickly putting it into the box Collar could be a beast as well but let me know if you'll spin or skip and that I'll do a review on them and let you guys know what I think of them but yeah that is it for me lads I'll be back quite soon hope you guys have been kept up to date with all the news hope you enjoyed the video let me know if I missed anything and i can update it until next time lads i'll be back quite soon don't forget to subscribe peace